Hey, welcome, I am Mr. Machek. Today we're gonna to be talking about what can you do if you have a problem using credit card? Now let's face it, the majority of Americans are not well disciplined to use credit cards effectively and really take advantage of all the airline points or whatever points you end up getting. So if you found yourself in a little bit of a problem and you're not sure how to manage the debt, let's talk about four different things that you can do to get this under control. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the snowball method. Now the snowball method has really good psychological benefits. And what it is, is very, very simple. Just align, you know, write out every single debt that you have and then align them from smallest amount due, not monthly payment, but total amount to the largest amount due. And then you attack the smallest one. You're not basing it on what interest rate you're paying. You're not basing it on anything except for the smallest amount. And the psychological benefit to this is that you kind of have some a success really soon because you might have like a $250 uh, credit card, you know, that's, that's fully maxed out. And paying that off really will give you a little more motivation to go on to the next one, which might be, you know, 375, right? Or whatever it happens to be. So align it from smallest to largest and then pay off that one. Everything else gets minimum payments. And I'm talking about everything. So this is called the snowball method. And the snowball method is really good for your psychology, especially when you are not a credit card person. Now, the second one is called the debt avalanche method. And this method has more to do with the smart financing component. And here's what I mean. A finance major will say that this is a better option. Now, personally, I don't agree. I like the snowball method, but the avalanche method does this. You're gonna align, once again, all of your debts, but this time you're gonna go from the highest percentage that you're paying is the interest rate. And let's just say you have two credit cards at 30%, and then you have two credit cards at 20%, and then you have two credit cards with 0% because some introductory offer. Well, what you would do here, independent of the balances due, you would pay off the one with the highest percent first. Now, here's why I don't like this as my number one. Um, it is a very you know, good way to do it because paying off your debt is just a smart thing to do. But here's what I don't like about it is that some people are not going to get any results for quite a while because that highest percent interest rate might actually be, you know, a, a card that has a $12,000 balance and you got into this problem in the first place where you can't even save up money because you're putting everything on credit. So paying off $8,000 is like a really big hurdle to jump over. And it's not going to give you that satisfaction very quickly of paying off something and, and feeling like you're moving forward. So the avalanche method is great when it just comes to numbers. And maybe it's good if you take your, your entire paycheck and you give it someone else to pay off your debts. You let them manage it, right? Um, that might be a, a decent idea, but you, and, and you just don't know what's going on. You're just checking out and you're saying, I'm just gonna work and I'm gonna let someone else fix this problem for me. Because obviously you've proven yourself not to be a credit card person. So don't be using any more credit cards or anything like that. Now, anyway, let's move on to the third way of how you can help yourself with these credit card debts. And that is negotiating with the credit card companies. Believe it or not, these credit card companies will entertain a negotiation. And you know, if the first person that answers the phone when you call customer service does not work with you, no problem, call them back. Literally do it until you get it done because you will be able to negotiate something, but you have to have a little bit of supporting evidence. So if you do not have a good payment history, then tell them about how much you make and how fast you'd like to pay them off. If you do have a great payment history, remind them, tell them, hey, I have never been late. You know, it's been three years I've been a customer, I've never been late. Show them how long you've been a customer. Show them how much money in interest uh, you have paid because your statement does show how much interest has been paid, uh, you know, so far this year. Go back for the three years that you've been a customer and show them how much money you have paid them towards their profit margins. And they may actually lower from your 30% down to a 15%. You have to keep trying. And if you get a no, call back, 
get someone else on the line, maybe call back the next day. Just keep doing it until they reduce it. And now what this is gonna do is really decrease your minimum monthly payment. And now you can go into the snowball method or the avalanche method and start paying them off quickly. All right, now the fourth thing that you can do uh, is I'm actually gonna break down into two different ways of doing it. And one of them I don't like and the other one I do like. So the, the, the one that I don't like is basically a debt consolidation. And this is an option out there for you. But if you can build the discipline of doing a snowball method, um, your credit is affected better than the debt consolidation. So there's companies out there. What they do is this, they take your application and then you show them all the credit card debt you wanna pay off and they will collect a payment from you for this, okay? Now, they're, they're not gonna make the payment on your behalf. What they're gonna do is they're gonna call all your companies, let's say, once again, you have six credit cards and let's say you have a total balance of $30,000. They're going to get you to pay a certain dollar amount, let's say $500 a month, and then they're gonna tell you stop paying your credit cards and this is gonna hurt your credit, okay? And then they're accumulating money in the bank account so that they can negotiate with all of your credit card companies and get this payment reduced because once you're late, on your credit card debt, they're gonna eventually write it off and they're gonna get very little money for your credit card debt. So they're gonna sell it off to a creditor, to a, to a third party collection company. And they're gonna get maybe 10 cents on the dollar, maybe 30 cents on the dollar, I don't know. But what, they're, what this credit, debt consolidation company is doing is they're saving up money so that they can call one of your credit cards and say, hey, listen, we have a $900 balance. We are offering you $450. And then they might accept it. They're going to pay. And now your credit report shows you've had like, you know, four late, Four, four months of late payments with that credit card, and then it's gonna say settled for less than full amount due. And this is better than written off to collections, but it's still not good. And they may not actually negotiate. They may just let you go into uh, complete default. They're gonna cut your cards off completely. And, um, and then this credit company, this debt consolidation company, uh, ends up making money throughout this process. They do have relationships with these banks, bankers as well, uh, and these credit card companies. So they're able to kind of negotiate a little bit better than you might be able to by yourself. However, I do recommend you try to negotiate yourself first if you don't wanna pay them a whole bunch of money because that's their business, that's how they make money. Now, the other way of uh, consolidating everything is if you own real estate. Now, you can go and get a home equity line of credit and you can pay on your equity of your home. You know, you get a loan and then now you're paying this off. And the nice part about the home equity line of credit is that, uh, it, well, first of all, it does have some expenses, right? So you're going to pay, you know, $500 to $1,500 just to do a home equity line of credit. And some banks do it for free. They, they just have no upfront cost. But you can take this money and then pay off all of your cards. Now, here's the problem. You have proven yourself to not be a credit card person. So this is like a solution to the problem, but it's kind of like putting a Band-Aid on a stab wound, you know? And the stab wound are your habits, are your what you have decided is okay to do in your life, which is max out credit cards, okay? And putting a Band-Aid on that is not going to heal you up, okay? It's It'll stop the bleeding. But really, you should get into some sort of uh, program or you should get into a coaching program or maybe some sort of support group to stop getting into debt. And the nice part about home equity lines of credit is that the interest rate is gonna be way lower than actually uh, a, a debt consolidation company or the credit cards themselves. And if you don't know, there are actually many uh, free consulting services or uh, counseling services offered to help people in this. So check out your area, get into meetups, you know, start talking to people that are going through the same struggle. Because what I found in general in life with any problem that you may be facing is that getting around people who are seeking help and being around them tends to give you more accountability and therefore your actions start changing, you know. Now, just going back to this paying off, whether it's through debt consolidation or through uh, home equity line of credit. The, the, the real problem is 
you using the cards. So you have to stop using the cards on all of these methods, right? But especially on this one about getting a home equity line of credit. I can't tell you how many times I've seen the following scenario. A couple gets a whole bunch of credit card problems or some sort of debt. And then the home appreciates. You know, their, their, their primary resident appreciates. They make a lot of money from it. Well, it's just worth more. They don't make money yet. And then they get a home equity line of credit. They pay off the credit cards. And then what do you know? An emergency comes up. And next thing you know, they have a debt on their home, the home equity line of credit, and their credit cards are have a balance again. So if you're going to go do these methods, please just cut off. And, and I'm talking about all, all the methods, the, the, the avalanche, the snowball method, debt consolidation, even if you negotiate lower rates, you want to stop using the cards because you have proven yourself not to be a credit card person. Now, if you have any questions, please give me a call or fill out the form below. If you want to, a little bit of accountability, I have a free program that I'm offering. Six months of accountability, direct contact with me. Once a month, I'm gonna check in with you. Now, the catch is that we're gonna record our session and we're gonna have public accountability as well. That means you're gonna be on YouTube and we're gonna go over your finances, so you have to make yourself a little bit vulnerable. But let me tell you, the stress relief that you're gonna gain by having a little bit of accountability and moving forward with this problem that's stressing you out is well worth it because then in hindsight, you're gonna say, this is where I was and this is where I am and I just climbed this great, wonderful mountain and I'm feeling like a million bucks.